Challenge number eight. How many ways can you get the olive into a glass? Here we go again. What I want you to do is grab two, <laughs> two brandy snifters, right, right here, and an olive. Right. Now what I want you to do, show me how many ways that you can get this olive into this glass, but the only thing that you can touch is this glass. Right. So show me how many ways you can get this olive into this glass, but the only thing you can do is, the only thing you touch is this glass. Think about it. We'll be back. Here's some of the ways we came up with. Solution number one. All right, answer number one. Kind of sneaky, little roll. Pick it up. There you go, That's number one. Solution number two. Number two. Very similar to number one, what you do, if you have an edge here, so roll it around and you can roll it off. Number two, I'm like, okay, I'll give you another point for that. Two points, good, show me another one. Solution number three. Now, I don't know if you have an edge of the bar like we have the luxury of having. You roll to the edge and just sort of Munch it up against the side. There you go, number three. Or if you don't have the edge and you have something else like a glass, uh, something what you want to do is you just up against it. And it's a little bit weird. You can, there, you can knock it over. I'll give you that. That's three. There you go. Very nice. Show me another one. Solution number four the larch. Number four. Now this is where sneaky smart ass people come, especially if you're a bartender, right? And you're like, well, I think I'll just sort of munch just a little bit and just get to, and then, there you go. And you're like, oh brother, I need to use that in the next martini. <laughs> I'll give you a half point for that. <laughs> Solution number five. All right, number five. Now it gets a little bit tricky. What you want to do here is, I'm going to play with this, and we'll see how many times it takes me to get this. But oh, I'm butter. <laughs> nice. That was the first take. Um, if you caught that, but I'm actually trying to flick it. Now, the first time I actually saw this, somebody I was doing it at a bar at the Roxy here in, in Vancouver, and. This guy, his name was Elvis. Seriously, the guy's name was Elvis. Crazy guy. And uh, I showed him it, and I left him with it, and I came back, and, and it was in. It was done. I'm like, okay, great. How'd you do it? He goes, oh, well, I flicked it. And I'd never seen that before. I said, I said no, you didn't. He goes, yeah, I did. I said, no, you didn't. He goes, yeah, really, I did. I said, well, okay, show me. He goes, okay. So he was playing, and he would go, and he would flip, and he would flip, and he would just keep going and keep going. 20, 20 minutes later. Still couldn't get it. This guy was so mad. He was just red in the face. About a minute later, after playing around with this, I said, okay, I believe it. No, I can get it. No, really, I believe it. I can get it. Okay. And I had to back up. I had to let him go. 20 minutes, this guy went, and he was so mad. So that was probably the one time that uh, these challenges didn't really work out in our favor. But um, boy, it sure amused me. Uh, anyway, later on, I actually tried it, and uh, I, I saw some other people who, who did it. But um, yeah, it's just a flick. And I'm actually amazed I got that in the first try. I should really should just I should just let it go with that. But uh, we'll try it again. It's because uh, that's the fun part: watching people just play around with it. All right. Oh, so close. it was really close. All right. Ready? Oh, 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 a little help from the gallery. Yeah. Uh, need that in the next next one. Like, oh, I almost went in, but. Sometimes, if you want to give hints to people, they're okay. Um, sometimes, because even just that, if, even if they're, they're really good at it, they've done it, it takes a while. <laughs> nice. Wicked. So, uh, that was the win.
<laughs> That's so nice. Yeah. God, I haven't seen you do that that neatly well ever. Yeah, never. Solution number six. Okay, now the last and coolest one that I know of uh, is what we're about to show you now. Now, in my experience of all the literally thousands of times that I've done this all over the world, I've had three people get this pure. What I mean by pure is that, that I believe them, that nobody else had shown them or they'd heard about it. Um, there's another guy that I really didn't believe. There's one fourth guy that maybe, so three and a half times. Um, here's what it is, coolest part. Turn it upside down. Anybody know now? Oh. Cool, huh? You can keep that going as long as you want. Love that one. Now, actually, one of the one of the person that, that that got this, his name is Max, 13 years old. Sometimes myself and our instructors, we go around the world and do sort of sort of main millionaire big parties. We do performances, and anyway, uh, some people in New York brought uh, three of us out to do this this kid's bar mitzvah. He was 13 years old. His name is Max, and he got it right off. Bang! Get out. <laughs> wicked kid. Wicked Max. <laughs>